Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and today I figured we'd do another declutter. So we're gonna do my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters today. So uh, if you want to see that, you know, keep watching. Um, so we're gonna start with my bronzers. These are all my bronzers, I believe. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just get right into it. All right guys, so let me know in the comments down below if this is a better angle. I know like my last declutter was kind of really wobbly. Um, so I got a new little tiny mini tripod to try to make it better. So I'm not holding it and I'm also using my main filming camera instead of my vlogging camera because my vlogging camera just never seems to want to focus. Ever. apparently I bought the wrong camera I should have done more research um, so yeah uh, so we're just gonna get into it I figured this would be an easy video to do right now cuz I'm in a lot of pain with my arm so I figured this way I don't have to try and get all cute I'm just in some like sweatpants and an old t-shirt and a nice fuzzy warm comfy wrap sweater thing. I actually got this in my lat in the, like the winter um cause box so I will link that video down below. So these are my bronzers. I can't promise I'll get rid of a lot but I'm going to try to get rid of some. Okay? Okay. And hopefully I'm able to open them for you. So this is set up the same way as the rest of my drawers have been set up. We've got high end on one side. We have uh drugstore on the other but definitely high end has spilled over into the drug side so yeah and then the top two and on both sides are for like my powder bronzers and then the back is for my cream I don't think you can see that hold on let me try to there we go okay so you can't really see it but the, there's a back compartment that is filled with like all my creams and like sticks and stuff so okay so we're just gonna start um so I've got this one from Tom Ford. It's the Glow Bronzer in O2 Terra. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this bronzer. I wear it constantly. I think it's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not getting rid of this. Then we also have this other Tom Ford one. This is in Gold Dust or O1. And again, I really love this. Definitely going to keep it. Then we have two Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. These are her airbrush bronzers. I have the shade One Fair and uh, two Medium. This is Fair and this is Medium. Um, I love these products. I'm, I feel Between these, the Marc Jacobs bronzers and the Tom Ford, they are just such huge pan sizes so it makes it really worth your money. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I'm definitely keeping these. I did do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury in a video and uh, I will link that down below and also let me know in the comments if you want to see me do another one because any excuse to use full on Charlotte Tilbury, you guys know I'll do it. So speaking of big pan sizes um, and Marc Jacobs, I've got these two bronzers, can you see that? <laughs> these two bronzers from Marc Jacobs. So I have the 104 Omega Bronze in Tantastic, and it looks like that. I would love this bronzer again, going to keep it. And then I have the 102 Tantric from the Omega Bronze line, and it looks like this. Definitely has gotten more use because I've had it a bit longer. Um, sometimes this is a little too warm for me, but I like it in the summer, so I'm going to keep it. I'm not doing well, guys. I've gotten rid of nothing. <laughs> Next, we have the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Into Sun. I really, really, really like this bronzer. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm starting to think maybe we're not gonna get rid of anything. I, I have this weird like obsession with bronzers. I think it's because I look dead without them. Then I have two bronzers from uh, Hourglass. I've got the Ambient Lighting Diffused Bronze Light and then, oh, almost dropped it, ambient lighting, or the nude bronze light. So this is the diffused bronze. I just stuck my finger in it. So this is the diffused bronze. 
I really like this. It's really good for like fair skin. So I'll keep that. Um, and here's the, uh, what is it? Nude Bronze Light. Again, really, really like it. So next I've got these Gucci bronzers. Um, I have the shade, shades one and two. Um, I tend to do that with bronzers, as you'll notice. I'll, I have two of, I have two of a lot of them because I like to, I uh, have a darker shade for like summer. So this is one, and I think this packaging is so beautiful and luxe. Oh my, I'm obsessed. And this is two. Sorry if the lighting's off, guys. Um, they're very similar in shade, um, and I I really do like these. Again, I'm gonna keep them. Still haven't gotten rid of anything. I'm not doing well. All right, I moved the light a little bit, so hopefully this is better. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm still working on this whole setup. I'm sorry. My next declutter series, like in the new house, next time I declutter will be better. I promise. So next I have this Patrick Star and Mac um, Give Me Life bronzing powder. This is from his spring collection. Oh my gosh, this was a few years ago. I don't even know if this is like. This might be expired, uh, but, um, I, and you can definitely, um, and you definitely can't get it anymore, but let's look at it. If I can open it, I'm trying to do everything one-handed here. All right, so this is what that looks like. I love this bronzer. I know, I know it's old. It's probably <laughs> expired, and I know you can't get it anymore, which is why I don't use it in videos, but I do still use it, like, behind the scenes. So I'm going to keep this, but this has been in my, this is going into my, um, my, what is it called? Uh, my project pan drawer so that I can try to use it up quick. Next we have two, uh, bronzers from Buxom. I've got, they're the Staycation Vibes Primer Infused Bronzers. I've got Rooftop Tan, which looks like that. And they have Backyard Bronze that looks like that. I haven't used these yet, um, so I'm going to keep them to play around with them. Again, we've gotten rid of nothing. So next, I've got this little mini Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. It's just a little mini of it. Um, I think I used my like Sephora points at one point to get this. Um, here we go. I will get rid of this because I've been planning on buying the like big size. Oh my God, it's just, mm, it smells so good. It smells like chocolate. Um, chocolate's my weakness, well, one of them. Uh, but I really do like this bronzer, but I'm gonna just buy the bigger one again, like repurchase the bigger one. So I will get rid of this. Um, I don't really like to keep minis around anyways. It's like, do I ever really use them? Not really. Uh, so I, I'll get rid of this. Next, we have two bronzers from Han Skincare Cosmetics. We have Ibiza and Malibu. I really do like these bronzers. Um, I got these in my Petit Vore haul, which I'll link down below. Um, so I'm going to keep them. Then we have this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film, Store Bron Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is what it looks like. I'm for sure going to keep it. I'm obsessed with this. I love this so much. Um, so yeah. My goal was to make it so that I, I could fit everything comfortably in here. I'm not doing well, guys. I am not doing well. Next, we have the NARS Laguna Bronzer. This is a new one I just repurchased. Um, I will link the Sephora haul where I got this down below. I mean, I'll show you it, but come on, everybody knows what knows what this uh, bronzer looks like. But I love this bronzer. This is not the first time I've purchased this bronzer, so I'm definitely going to keep it. It's been a favorite for years. Then we have this pure mineral girl, mineral. I can't talk. Pure mineral glow bronzing powder. It looks like this. Now, I'm all for a luminous bronzer, but this has, I don't know if you can see that, but it has actual like glitter chunks in it, which I'm not a fan of that. I don't, I like luminous bronzers. I don't like glittery 
bronzer. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. It's not a bad bronzer. It blends nicely. It's just, I don't like glittery bronzers. So it's just not my style. Then we have this Too Faced Pineapple Sun uh, Strobing Bronzer. First of all, just look at this packaging. That is so cute. So pretty. Too Faced has some of the prettiest packaging. They really do. And this is what it looks like, and I just think it is so stunning, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Then I have two Kylie bronzers. I have this one in khaki, which I really like, especially in the winter, because it's, it's a very light bronze, so it's not like too orange or anything on me. It works really good and complements my skin really well. And then my favorite is this one in Toasty. I love this. Absolutely love it. You guys know I'm, I love Kylie Cosmetics, so I'm going to keep these. I know it's a brand, either you love them or you hate them. Um, and a lot of people like to hate on them. Uh, I genuinely do like their products, though. I'm not, I have no reason to say that I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just genuinely have always liked her products. I've never gotten a product from her that I haven't liked, so. But to each their own. Then I have this Tark, Tart, Tark. I have Tart Park Ave Princess, and it looks like this. I'm pretty sure I got this in like a boxy charm or an Ipsy or something because it's like a smaller size. I love this bronzer. However, I've got the palette, so I don't really need this. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one, so somebody else can love this as much as I do. There's just no point in keeping it when I have the palette that has the exact same shades in, shade in it, plus more. Then I have these two MAC bronzers. Um, I like this packaging. It's a little bit different than their usual packaging, which I kind of like. So I have this shade in Totally Topless. And then this one in Beijing Beauty. I have not used either of these yet, so I'm going to keep them. I actually got them so I could try them out on camera. Um, so yeah, definitely going to keep them. For now at least, and if they end up being junk, then I'll get rid of them. Then I've got this pretty vulgar bronzed bee bronze mannequin. This is what it looks like. I know I've used it, but I can't really remember my thoughts on it. I like the packaging. I think it's really pretty, but to be honest, I have so many bronzers as you've seen. Um, and since I don't really remember if I like this or not, what's the point in keeping it, you know? So I'm just going to get rid of this. I'd like to say I'm doing really well now, but I mean, it's like only four products, so <laughs> I'm not doing well at getting rid of stuff. Um, and then I've got this Givenchy Tint, Con Tint Couture Healthy Glow Powder in 01. This is what it looks like. It is stunning. The packaging is stunning. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. So on to the creams on the high end side. Let's see. Okay, so I've got this KKW Beauty Contour Stick in uh, the light contour. So this is shade one. This is shade two. I love this. I've repurchased it so many times. I will continue to repurchase it. Um, I have a video actually where I compare this with um, Kylie's new bronzing sticks. I will have that link down below. Um, but yeah, definitely keeping. Then I have this Smashbox step-by-step -step contour stick. Um, this is what it looks like. I've used it, but I feel like every single time I use it, I just look muddy. And dirty. I don't feel like it really gives me a contour. I don't feel like it's the easiest thing to blend. I do like Smashbox products, but this one was a dud for me, so I'm going to get rid of it. I think this would do better on uh, less dry skin. Like, I have extremely dry skin, as you guys know, so that might be part of the problem. Sometimes cream products are harder to blend on me because my skin is just so dry. And this is a bit of a drier formula, so it, might, it would definitely work for a different skin type, but just not mine. <laughs> Next, I've got this Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick in Baked. Um, you guys, um, I really, really like this. I think it is so beautiful. 
it was very hard to like get out like see that like that broke the first time I opened it which you guys saw if you watched my latest full face of vegan makeup which I will have linked down below that I did last month for Veganuary um but I still like the product itself I just think that the uh maybe the packaging could use a little work but I do like this product so I'm definitely going to keep it Sorry I can't do swatches for you guys too. Like I feel really bad. But I, what, what am I gonna do? <laughs> like use this finger and like put it on here? <laughs> yeah. So next I've got these two Tom Ford, um, the shade and illuminate sculpting things. Um, I got these because I saw Amrezy talking about them. And if she says something's good, it's good. Like there's just no debate, it's good. So, um, I originally had gotten the Intensity 05, um, which I will link the video where I show you guys me getting this down below. Also, there will be lots for you guys to watch next. So, this is the, this is the Intensity 05, which I do think is going to work for me, but I realized, like, looking at it, that I think that one will also work for me. Um, so, so yeah, I also got Shade Intensity 1. So, I have both of these. This is going to be great, especially in summer. Uh, or for those days where I just want an even more intense contour. Um, so, yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to try these yet. But I've been really busy with, like, getting ready for the move and stuff. <sighs> Two weeks, guys. Um, but I'm extremely excited to play with these. Next, I've got these two Kylie bronzing sticks. This one is in Bronze Light. This is what it looks like. It goes up higher than this. There's a lot of product in this, which, again, I explained in detail in my uh, Kim versus Kylie video. So again, that will be linked down below, but I really, really love this. I use this a lot. As you can see, it's definitely gotten some use. Um, so yeah, uh, I really highly recommend these. Um, I think they're great. And then I also have the bronze medium, which is a little darker. Um, right, yeah, bronze medium. Um, and I've used this once, I think, I put it back in the box. I don't know why I put it back in the box. But yeah, I've used this like once. And this also looks really good with my skin tone. Um, I really like it. This is definitely a more summery color for me. But yeah. But yeah, I highly recommend these bronzing sticks. I think that they're incredible. So next I've got the Fenty Beauty Cream Cheeks Out Bronzer in the shade Amber. This is what it looks like. I have not gotten a chance to use this yet. Um, I plan to try once we get in the new house. Like, I'm not going to try any new makeup for the rest of the time I'm here, probably. But once we get in the new house, I'll be able to try some stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see this on camera. Then I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. Mine is in the shade Fair Medium. I love this. Um, I've raved about this before. I'm definitely keeping it. Then I have another one from Smashbox. This one's in bronze. Again, same thing. I've tried it a few times. Every time I look dirty. Um... And, like, I just put mud on my face, so I'm going to pass it along to somebody who can get better use out of it. Then I have this Kosas uh, Tropic Equinox. I believe I got this in, like, a box of style or something. Honestly, I've never even used this, and the bronzer kind of looks a bit too warm for me. It could end up being perfect, but I have uh, so many bronzers, so I'm just going to pass this along. Then I have this Kvos Bronzing Potion. Um, I got this in either a Petit Vore or a Kinder. I can't remember which. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to try yet, but, um, I, ha I think I have another one of these somewhere. So I'm actually going to pass this one along, um, since this one is unopened. I think I actually did try the other one. So it's somewhere around here in the mess of this room as I try to pack. So, I'm going to pass this one along, but Kvos is a fantastic brand. I just talked about them in my last video. Um, Tuesday's video, so make sure that you check that out. Again, link down below. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this brand just in general if you haven't tried them yet. Then I've got this Jouer Essentials High Coverage Concealer Pen, but I got the shade uh, Coffee because I wanted to, you know, use it as like a contour. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet. This is what it looks like. I don't want to like click it up yet because I haven't used it yet, but hopefully you can see that. And it focuses on it, but I think this is going to be a really, really good, like, contour shade for me. And if nothing else, I think this is going to be great for contouring the nose because of the shape and the size of this. 
And Laura Lee talks highly of this, uh, this concealer. She, I mean, she uses it as actual concealer, but she talks really highly of it. So she's got pretty great, uh, taste in makeup. So I have high hopes. And then I've got this Oma Beauty Double Take, uh, Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in White Pearl. So this is the highlighter side. It does have a highlighter side. And then this is the bronzing side. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, but I've heard nothing but great things and I'm very excited to try it. Um, again, let me know if you want to see me try this out on camera. I can absolutely do that, but very excited to try it out. Then for the drugstore side, we have these Believe Beauty bronzers. The first one I have is in Havana, Havana, I can't talk, Havana Sunset. And I did a full face of Believe Beauty for a video again. It'll be linked down below. This is what this looks like. I think they have a great formula, so I'm definitely going to keep this. You guys know I'm really picky about my uh, drugstore makeup, so yeah. Then we have Tahitian Sun. This one looks like it's going to be a maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe. It looks a little warm, but it might actually work. I can't remember if I tried this one or not, so let me put it on the maybe side. Then we have Hawaiian Glow. Um, I'm just going to keep all of these guys. I, d I really do like these. This is a brand you can get from Dollar General. Everything is $5 and below, and it's amazing. And again, the video where I tested out the product line will be linked down below. Then I've got these Catrice Luminizing Bronzer Sungasm Bronzers uh, in Golden Ecstasy, which looks like this and bronzed euphoria which looks like this and i really like these the packaging looks awful because when i my ultra order came with these one of the uh, blushes i had bought had shattered everywhere the replacement also shattered everywhere i kind of gave up on it but yeah so i'm gonna keep these then we have an og favorite um just about every single YouTuber in the history of YouTube has talked about this. It is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, of course, I'm going to keep it. I love this bronzer. So, yeah. One of the best drugstore bronzers you can get. Then I have this Mellow Bronze. It says it's a blush, but it's in bronze. Let me tell you a little something about Mellow, okay? They like to, like bombard people who do makeup on Instagram with like messages of like contact us to join our affiliate team and then they make you pay for items to join their affiliate team which if you are a an up and comer you should never have to pay for items in order to work with a brand you just shouldn't um I was dumb and I was like well, that's a legit brand. Like, uh, this could be huge. Um, so I was, I went for it. And I still get our messages from them. Join our affiliate team. Like, I didn't already spend over $100 and buy stuff to join their affiliate team. You know what I mean? Like, they don't keep track of that stuff. And it's really just to get people to buy their products. So I'm going to get rid of this because I can't support a brand like that. Like, I was really excited about it. It's vegan and cruelty free brand, but I mean, that's just, that's shady. You know, it's so shady. They're taking advantage. They're taking advantage of small content creators and makeup artists and makeup enthusiasts. And I just think, and like beauty YouTubers and stuff. And I just think that it's really crappy of them. So that's just a warning to people. Um, you know, I'm not saying their products are bad. I haven't tried this yet. I'm not saying their products are bad. I just, they've left a really bad taste in my mouth. That's why if you notice, like I don't even put like, I have, technically I have an affiliate link with them, but I don't put it down below anymore because like, it's just, I don't know. Like I just get a really bad feeling with them. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. Hopefully somebody can get some good use out of it. There's just no point in me keeping it. Then I've got this Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer with Cocoa Extract in the color Cacao. Packaging is st 
stunning, and this is what it looks like. I believe I used this in a video, actually. Um, I'm going to keep it. Then I have this uh, Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Matte Sculpting Highlight and Contour Palette. I believe I saw Casey Holmes talking about this a few years ago and that that's why I bought it. <laughs> um, but I could be wrong. This is what it looks like. It's not that it's a bad product. It's just I literally never reach for it anymore. I mean, you can see it's definitely been used. I've definitely reached for it in the past, but I just don't anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. And then for the drugstore cream side, we've got this Model Co. Contour Stick. I've never used this. I've been, I keep keeping it, thinking like I'm gonna try it, but I just have so many that I prefer that I grab instead. This still has the pack, like the plastic on it. I'm gonna pass it along. Then I have this Believe Beauty one. If you guys watch my Believe Beauty video, you know that like I thought I had this and then couldn't find it and then found it at the very end. So I didn't get a chance to try it. Still haven't tried it. Why haven't I tried? I'm gonna keep this to make sure that I try it. Don't let me forget to try this. And then I have this Haley's Beauty uh, Replay Foundation Stick, and I got mine in the shade 4.25 to, again, use as a contour. I will link my Haley's Beauty video down below. This is what it looks like. I really, really like this. Um, this reminds me, actually, a lot of the Kylie bronzing sticks, except for I think the Kylie ones are just like they seem to be a little bit creamier, just the slightest bit creamier though. This is still really, really amazing, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Now onto the blushes. So the same way, um, so this is like high-end drugstore creams and back. Alright, so first we have this Patrick Ta blush and she's pas passionate passionate I can't speak um this is what the packaging looks like again stunning packaging I have another Patrick Child blush somewhere but I'm not really sure what I did with it so I can't show you that one but I will be keeping it as well as this one I can't remember what like shade it's in either but yeah so I'm gonna keep this I really like this blush it's amazing highly recommend this brand then I have two Tom Ford blushes. The first one is in 06 Inhibition. And it looks like that. Love this. The other one is in 01 Frantic Pink. And it looks like that. I'm obsessed with these blushes, so of course I'm keeping them. Then I have two Hourglass blushes. One is in Ethereal Glow. It's a really, really beautiful luminous blush. So I'm going to keep this. The other one is in Luminous Flush. Again, another beautiful luminous blush and one I'm going to keep. Then we have two Kylie blushes. Oh, sorry, by the way, if the lighting's a little bit different now and stuff. And like I took that sweater off. I took a break and came back now to finish. So the first Kylie blush I have is in Close to Perfect and it looks like this. I love this blush. It is such a beautiful like muted peachy color. Love it. And then this one is in Pink Power. It's a really pretty like baby soft baby pink and again love it. I'm going to keep both of these. Then I have this little Tarte uh, Party blush. I got this in, I believe, a boxy charm, maybe? I can't remember. Um, it looks like this. I really do like this color, but I have similar colors, so I'm actually going to get rid of this. But this is a great blush. I love Tarte blushes. Then I have this Bella Pierre Cosmetics blush in Desert Rose. It looks like this, and it is a very pretty blush but I'm not a huge fan of like loose blushes because I tend to uh, make a mess with them so I'm just gonna give this up but it's a beautiful color then I have this Ciate London uh, marbled light halo blush this is the packaging Ciate London has really pretty packaging and this is what it looks like yes 
at some point my nail went into it I don't remember when but it's just in another very beautiful luminous blush which are my favorite types of blushes so of course I'm going to keep this then I have the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to chic swish and pop blusher in first love you guys have seen me talk about this before it is the boob blush looks like a boob but it's really beautiful and I love it and of course I'm going to keep it and plan to get many more shades. Next we have this NARS Orgasm. I just recently repurchased this. Um, just stuck my nail in it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush. It's an OG. Everybody's had this blush at some point. It is amazing. I will continue to repurchase it. It's just that good. It's been a favorite for years, just like their Laguna Bronzer. Then I've got this Patrick Ta in MAC blush that came in his spring collection the same one where I got that bronzer from and it is in I'm not blushing it's a powder blush duo packaging is so beautiful this is what it looks like um again I know like it's older and I know like it's not available anymore but I'm going to keep it because I like it um and just not use it on camera then I have this Dior blush um this is their Rosy Glow Blush in 001 Petal. I have not been able to find this anymore. But I think, I don't know for sure. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that it's basically just the same as their new like really pretty pink blush and just in different packaging. I love this blush though. It, it looks very bright in the, in, in the pan, but it, it just gives you the most perfect rosy glow. Um, but since this packaging, I don't know if it's the same product or not, but I know this packaging isn't available anymore. So I'm going to actually get rid of this and give this away to somebody else who can love it. And then I'll just buy like the new one. And then I have this Laura Geller, um, baked blush and brighten blush in Tropic Hues. This one reminds me so much of like the hourglass ones. It's just like that beautiful marbled, uh, you know like luminous blush and I really really like it so I'm definitely gonna keep it then I have this really tiny blush it's the Freematic blush from Duke I don't know if I'm saying that correctly I can't remember where I got this from but this is but this is the color it is tiny and typically I don't like to keep tiny ones but I kind of mm, I do like that color though it's in the color daydream i might keep it <laughs> then i have this little uh blush trio from alamar cosmetics in fair light it looks like this they're all very beautiful shades but nothing that i think i'd really use so i'm actually going to get rid of this but alamar's an amazing company like i i, I really like their products so Highly recommend the brand, but yeah, those don't really look like blush colors I'd use too often, so I'm just going to go ahead and... This is unused, I believe, so I'm just going to give it away. For the high-end creams, we have this um, Eco Lips Lip and Cheek Tint uh, in pink. I got this in one of my subscription boxes, either Kinder or Petit Bore. can't remember which, but this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like inside. You can use this as a lip color or as a cheek tint. Um, so it's very versatile. And uh, I haven't used this yet. And I'd like to try it. So I'm going to keep it. Maybe do it in another uh, full face of vegan makeup. You guys know I, I try to do those at least like once every two months. Just to show people that are into purely vegan makeup. You know, good options. So, yeah. Then I have this cream blush from Fenty Beauty in... Zero two petal poppin. This is tiny. Like this is the full size. This isn't like, um, like a travel size or sample size or whatever. Like this is their full size, which is, which is. I mean, it was a little expensive for being this tiny, but Fenty Beauty products are amazing. So like, you know, I'm gonna spend that money anyways. <laughs> I haven't gotten a chance to use this yet, but look at that color. Like that is stunning so I'm definitely going to keep this play around with it let me know if you want to see me try this out for the first time in the video you know comment down below um I know it's been out for a while so if you're not interested in that that's no big deal but 
definitely excited to keep this and play with it. Then we have this Nude All Over Face Dewy Color Blush from Nude Sticks. It's just a small one. Can't even remember where I got it from. This is what it looks like, and I think I'm actually going to give this up. Then we have this Milk Makeup Glimmer Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. Um, haven't tried this. This is just the small one of it. Um, but this is what it looks like, and it looks really pretty, and I love the bronzer. Um, so I'm excited to give this a try. And then I've got this Clove and Hollow Hydra Tint. The packaging is really neat. It looks like nail polish, but it's not. Um, it is actually a liquid blush. Um, this is in the color Georgia. And I got this in a specialty kinder box. Um, and I really, really, really like this. So, yeah, going to keep it. Now for the drugstore side. I have this Makeup Geek blush in XOXO. This is so old. This is like original packaging. Like, like original. Like, first came out when the brand first came out. So this is super old, super expired. But I love this blush. Like, she's reformulated, I think, like twice since this came out. But I really like this blush. But it is really, really old, so I know the smart thing to do would be to get rid of it. So I'm going to, but oh, I like this blush. I'll have to pick up some more Makeup Geek blushes. Then I have this Milani blush in 01 Romantic Rose. This is what it looks like. You guys know I don't like, or that I'm definitely a bigger luxury and high-end fan than I am drugstore. But... I have a few of my like ride or die drugstore brands and Milani is one of them. They have beautiful products. I love their blushes. Definitely going to keep. Then I have this Hikari blush that's broken in Tango. It looks like this. It's all broken. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Then I've got three Believe Beauty blushes. This one is in High Tea. This one is in Rosy Glow. And this one is in Creamy Peach. I'm going to keep high tea and creamy peach, but I'm actually going to get rid of Born to Blush. I really like the formula, again, of the blushes from Believe Beauty, but um, they're the same formula as the bronzers. But if you look, the, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this blush is super glittery. It's not luminous, it's glittery. So that's just not my thing, so I'm going to get rid of it. Then I have this So Susan Blush and Glow Luminizing Blush in Rose Rust the packaging this is what it looks like it's a really pretty blush I can't remember where I got it from but I'm going to keep it then we have this NYX blush in peach and it looks like this it looks a lot more vibrant in the pan than it does on the cheeks I like this it doesn't really look peachy though it's definitely more pink than peach but I'm gonna keep it then we have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the Princess Daiquiri's. I love this blush. This is such a beautiful natural looking blush. I definitely recommend it. I'm definitely going to keep it. Then I have this Pixie Beauty Blush Duo in Rose Gold. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit broken. It spilled all over me. <laughs> but this is really pretty, so I'm going to keep it. Pixie's another one of those drugstore brands that I tend to like. And now I have blush all over me. Okay. Um, then they have this note. I don't know if this is drugstore or not, but it's over in my drugstore side for whatever reason. Um, it is the Note Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in 05 Desert Rose. And it looks like this, and I really like that. It's very pretty, so I'm going to keep that. I have a little bit of... I have a little bit of an obsession with blushes, too, if you couldn't tell. Next, we have the Milani Luminoso blush. This is a, another one of those that is well-loved in the beauty community. It is, I've heard it's a dupe for the NARS one, but I've never actually tried them together, but maybe I should. Maybe I should do this in a dupe video. 
like for the Nards Orgasm. Hold on, let me grab that and see if they're similar. All right, so these are the two colors. They don't look the same in the pan. Like the Milani definitely looks more peachy and while uh, the, the uh, Nars one looks pinker, but maybe on the cheeks they do look similar. Maybe I'll have to try it out in a video. Then we have this Essence Blush Lighter. This one is in Nude Twilight. Now, that story I told you about the blush that completely shattered from Ulta. It was one of these, not this one obviously, but the other one I got, which I can't remember the shade. They sent me a replacement and that one was also shattered and I just kind of gave up. So <laughs> this is the one I have, the remaining one. I don't think I've tried this yet. I can't remember, but this is what it looks like. I think that is super beautiful. So yeah, gonna keep it. Next, I have three wet and more wet and wild blushes. I have Pearl Essence Pink, which I'm pretty sure has never been opened before now. Then we have Pinch Me Pink and Nudist Society, which is obviously a very pretty nude blush. Um, I'm gonna keep all three. And then lastly, we have just one cream product. This is from e.l.f. and it's Glistening Peach. And that is what it looks like. It's really pretty light peach, light peach color. And I'm gonna keep this. Okay guys, and now we're on to our highlighters. Again, so the exact same way. High end and luxury more affordable in drugstore and the creams in the backs. Okay, so the first one I'm grabbing is this one. It's a Kylie Cosmetics one in French Vanilla. It looks like this. I absolutely love this highlighter. They don't sell it anymore, but I'm keeping this. Um, but it's in my project pan, so I'll try to get it used up this year. Next, I have two of these from Milk Makeup. So this one is Iced. And this one is lit. I like both of these, so I'm going to keep them both. Then I have this Tom Ford Sheer Highlighting Duo in Reflex Guilt. I love Tom Ford packaging. It's always so stunning. And this is what it looks like. Then I have this Kate. Oh, I actually have two from her. Yeah. So I've got these Kate Voss um, Fairy Dust Highlighters. You guys know I love them. I just talked about them in my last video. Um, so I've got the shades Moonlight, which looks like that, and Starkist, that looks like that. I love these highlighters, highly recommend them. Pretty sure these are the only colors they come in, um, but love these highlighters, so I'm definitely going to keep them. Then I've got this Too Faced Canary Diamond Highlighter. I love the packaging. This is what the highlighter looks like. It looks much darker in pan than it looks on the face. On the face, it's really beautiful, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Then I have two of these Stila highlighters. Um, these are their Heaven's Hue highlighters. They're like the putty type of highlighters. They've been out for a while. This one is in Kitten, and this one is in Transcendence. I really do like these, so I'm going to keep them both. Then we have this Ofra highlighter in Glazed Donut. It is a, collabor a collaboration that they did with Nikki Tutorials. I haven't had a chance to use this yet, but it looks freaking stunning. And Ofra has some of the absolute best highlighters, so I'm going to keep it. Plus, I love Nikki, so yeah. Then I have this Sarazar uh, Moonlit Opal. It's their 24 karat gold infused highlighting powder. Um, I am obsessed with this. It's one of my favorite highlighters in the entire world. I just spilled it all over myself, but it's just so stunning. I'm definitely keeping it. It is all over me, but you can kind of see it on my hand there. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it got on my hand a little bit and on my, on my splint. So <laughs> it's very pretty. My pants are now thoroughly covered in makeup. Let's continue. Next is this or, um, Artist Couture Purple Dream Diamond Glow Powder. This looks really pretty. However, I've had this for a while and I can't seem to figure out how to open it. Just can't figure it out. Like there's, it, this won't move for me and I can't figure out like where, like how to get this like covering off of it. So I'm just gonna give it away. Hopefully somebody else is smarter than the packaging because I am not. All right, sorry, my um, card filled up so I had to replace it. Hopefully the angle is still okay. 
Um, but the next one I have is this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Omosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset Highlighter. It looks like this. Those are definitely not shades I can use as highlighter. Um, I'm way too fair for that, though I think this would look gorgeous on dark skin. Like, just stunning. Um, like, I actually have seen, like, pictures of Rihanna wearing a purple color, and I don't know if it's this exact one or not, but it looks so freaking pretty on her. I think I'm going to keep this, though, but use it as, like, eyeshadow, because it's so pretty. The colors are beautiful, so, I don't know. I'm going to keep it for now. Also, if you hear rustling around the cats in here with me, aren't you, Luna? Luna! She, she doesn't care. This is her favorite room, though. So, next I have the Kylie um, Pressed Highlighter in Hear Me Roar. This came out with her Wild Things collection, or whatever that collection was called, the Wild one. Um, I have a video where I tested it out that I will have linked down below. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this highlighter. Definitely keeping it. So good. Then I have this All Natural highlighter in the shade Aura. This is interesting because it looks like this, right? Which makes you think like, oh, like liquid, but it's not, it's powder. And it even has a pump, but as you can see, it's really messy um, and it kind of just blows everywhere. The highlighter itself is absolutely stunning, but I don't really like the packaging. And it's just such a hassle to use, so I'm just gonna give it up. I hope they change their packaging though, because if they do, I'm all over this. It's so pretty. Next, I have another Fenty Beauty one. This one is in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. As you can see, these are definitely more my type of highlighting <laughs> shades. Um, but I absolutely love that she has so many different options. It's great. And more brands should be that inclusive. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this highlighter. Definitely keeping it. Then I have this Dior, uh, Dior Skin Nude Luminizer. Mine is just in the shade 01. Love Dior. And it looks like this. It's so pretty. Hi, Luna. It's so pretty. Love it. Hello, baby. Are you going to come sit on my lap? Hi. No? You gonna walk away? You don't want them to see you? No, you're gonna, oh. Are you, oh, are you, yeah, what is that? You gonna sniff it? Okay, bye. Love you, yeah. Cattail, okay. Next we have this um, mini Becca highlighter in opal. And it looks like that. I do really like this highlighter. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Then I have this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Peach Glow. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty, but it's too dark for me, so I'm going to pass this along. Then I have this Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette. Looks like this. And this is what it looks like. Love this. Love Charlotte Tilbury, you guys know this. I'm definitely gonna keep it. Then I have this Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl. Um, I got this because at the time, they, it was like a collaboration with Casey Holmes. Um, it looks like this. I, I like it, but it's not like, I'm obsessed with it, and I think I'm, I never really reach for it, so I'm gonna pass it along. Then for the high-end and luxury creams and liquids, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, mine is in shade one fair. Love this. Love to put this on underneath foundation to give me a really pretty luminous glow. Then from Charlotte Tilbury, we have the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. Again, love this. It's so pretty. It gives you the most stunning. What are you getting? Are you fighting with that? gives you the most stunning um, highlight. Sorry if you can hear the cat. She's currently fighting with a make a uh, box from something, some sort of make. Is that is that eyeliner? It is. She's fighting with eyeliner. I have not taken out of the package yet. What can you do? Then I've got this 
Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I like this, but it's super old. So I'm going to pass it along. Same with this one in Champagne Pop. Like it. Love to mix them with like my foundations to give me a really luminous glow. But again, these are super old. You can tell they're super old. They look really gross. So I'm going to pass those along. And if I think about it, I'll maybe just buy new ones. I don't know. Then I have this one from Smashbox. It is their highlight stick that came with the contour sticks. Looks like this. Um, it's fine, but it's not really something that I reach for that often. So I'm just going to pass it along. Then I have this one from Thrive Cosmetics in the color Stella. Now this one I really like. I like this underneath like my brow bone or in my inner corner. So I'm going to keep this. Then I have this one from Trustique. Doesn't... Oh, it's in Mald Maldives Luminescent, I think is the name. I don't know. But it looks like this, and it's also really pretty. So um, I'm going to keep this as well. Then I have the um, KKW Beauty Highlighting Stick in Light. This is shade 1, or side 1. And this is the more luminescent side two. Gonna keep this, love this. I do wish there was more product though. What, what did you find? Then I have these Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops um, in Blossom. And um, it, I haven't used this yet, but it looks really pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I have the Cover Effects Glitter Drops I'm in the shade Nova. Um, this one I'm actually going to get rid of. Then I have the Iconic London Illuminator. And this is just original. I'm gonna keep this. And then I have the Beauty Crop Glow Milk uh, Illuminating Milk for Face and Body. And, uh, this, and this is in the shade Blind Date. And I'm gonna keep this as well. Now for the drugstore side, we have this Catrice Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. This is huge. I think it's like $10. And let me move this back a little bit so you can see it better. But it's, I think it's like $10 and it's phenomenal. Look at that. It's huge. And the product is so good. Highly recommend. Love this. She's eating a box now. Okay. I will actually link the video down below where I tried that, by the way. Then I have this um, Physician's Formula Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls tra and Translucent Pearl. It looks like this. It just shows up really chunky and glittery on me. I'm not a fan, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I have three from Believe Beauty. I have Champagne Kiss, which is, just as it says, a very pretty champagne color. I have Good Vibes, which is a pinkier color, and Pink Pearls. Pink Pearls is a slight bit too dark for me, so I'm going to get rid of Pink Pearls, but I'm going to keep the other two. Then I've got this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. Love this. I've raved about it before. One of my favorite highlighters. Definitely going to keep. And then for the liquid and cream ones from the drugstore, we have this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. I'm going to keep it. And we have two of these from Believe Beauty. I tried them. They're not terrible, um, but I just prefer the powder formula than the cream formula from them. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. All right, guys. So this is what we're getting rid of um so we have the highlighters here so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve highlighters uh bronzer so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that hurts my arm. <laughs> so 11 bronzers. And then for blushes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, and eight blushes. So not bad. I mean, it could have been better, but especially the bronzers. I should have done better on the bronzers because it's still the drawer is still overflowing. But all in all, I'm pretty proud of myself. So yeah. Um, now all we have left is my lip products and like my mascaras and concealers and then we are done so stay tuned those videos will be coming up really soon as usual please do not forget to give this video a like if you like these types of videos and don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every single time that i upload i upload two to three times a week and i would love to have you join me thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye